In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your MacBook's keyboard if it's not working properly. This can be a single key not working or it can be the entire keyboard not working at all. Do not worry, all you need to do is just follow the steps that I'll be showing to you in today's video. Let's jump straight into the video. What's happening YouTube? My name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be going through a step-by-step -step guide on how to fix your MacBook's keyboard. I'd like to let you guys know that this is a very sensitive component here, which is the keyboard, and in most cases, it's a hardware problem and you need to get it replaced. But do not worry because we've got a couple steps in here that you can follow to know if it's a software problem or a minimal hardware problem. If it's a minimal hardware problem, this tutorial should help you fixing the problem. If it's a software problem as well, this tutorial is also going to work for you. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So here I am, in my case I've got in here a MacBook Air and do not worry if you've got a MacBook Pro or a different MacBook model, do not worry because the steps are exactly the same and they're gonna work to help fixing your keyboard which is currently faulty, okay? And hey, this can be due to a specific key not working or simply all the keys not working. So the very first thing we're gonna be doing in here is basically reset our SMC and restart our computer. So in order to do this, we're gonna quickly shut down our MacBook. Here we go. Let's shut it down. And once it's fully turned off, we're gonna connect the charger into the MacBook, okay? So in my case, this is my charger. I've connected it into my computer. And the next thing we're gonna be doing in here is we're gonna hold the shift button, the option button, the control button, along with the power button. We're gonna press all these buttons for 15 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We're gonna release all the buttons and then we're gonna be having our MacBook turned on. So we're gonna tap here on restart before logging in into our computer. So we're gonna immediately restart it one more time and your MacBook is gonna turn on in a few seconds. So here we go, it's now turned on. We're gonna log in into our user. It's now logging in into my username. And boom, here we go. My MacBook is now turned on. It's still loading a few files and applications, but it has already started as you guys can see right here. Now that you've done this, you're gonna test your keyboard to see if it's working well. And if it's not working, we're gonna be moving into the second step right here. Now, if you wanna test out which key exactly is not working properly here on your MacBook, you're gonna open up this website in here, which is keytester.com. Do not worry, I've left the link to this website in the description box below, and it's very easy to test all your keys. So we're gonna tap in here on launch the tester. It's gonna take you a few seconds and then this web page is gonna pop up right here. So right here, you can actually test the keys by pressing them like Q, it's gonna turn green, which shows that Q is actually working. W, it's actually working. One, it's working. But if you see, if I tap V, it's not working as you guys can see, it's not showing up. So this key is not working fine. Okay, now it worked. Let me see B it's not working. So this is a good tester to find out which key exactly is not working here on your MacBook before following all these steps. Now, let's move into the second step where we need to delete a temporarily created keyboard file, which is gonna reset the creation of that file. So we're gonna tap into go here in the top left corner. Now, if you do not see go, simply click once here on the desktop with your cursor and then go should appear right here so we're gonna tap here on go and then we're gonna tap here on go to folder which is one of the last options that we've got now over here we're gonna type exactly 
this path right here which is tilde and then we've got in here the slash library slash preferences now if you have any issue typing this do not worry because i also have this path in the description box below so once we're done typing in this path we're gonna type here on go and then this folder is gonna open up here real quick so over here we've got many many files and we're searching for one specific file which is known as the com.apple.keyboardservicesd.plist do not worry because this entire text is already in the description box below so do not worry you're gonna be finding it easily so we're gonna search in here com.apple.keyboard as you guys can see we've got com.apple mobile com.apple and see we're searching for keyboard let's go and here we go we've got com.apple.keyboard services d.p list which is this one okay do not miss this one because we also have another ones like keyboard viewer we've got keyboard in access we've got many others here as well but we're searching for the keyboard services d.p list so once we find this file we're gonna delete this file okay so we're gonna move it into the trash and then we're gonna open up trash and then we're gonna empty the bin. So here we go, my bin is now empty and when this is done, we're gonna immediately restart our computer and then try testing the keys again on that website that I've showed you, which is the keyboard tester. So here we go, my MacBook is now turning back on. And there we go, it's turning on. Let's wait for a couple seconds. And boom, here we go. My MacBook has turned on and it's loading a few files. And now it's time to actually test your keyboard. So we're gonna hop into that keyboardtester.com in order to test the keys again. And if they're still not working, we're moving into step number three. So in step number three, we're gonna simply check if we have our MacBook software up to date. Okay, so it's important to update your software. And that's very, very easy to be done. All you need to do is hop into this Apple logo in the top left corner right here. We're gonna tap on about this Mac and then we're gonna tap here on software update. Okay, so we're gonna quickly tap here on software update and then our computer is gonna search for update. It's gonna see if we've got an update pending in here so that we can actually update in order to see if this fixed the problem that we've got or not. Now, once you update your software, which is something important to do periodically because you need to keep your software always up to date. If this doesn't help you fixing the problem that you've got, we're moving into step number four. Okay, so basically here on step number four, you're gonna need a hair dryer. I would recommend a hair dryer if you have something else which does the same job as this, it's gonna work as well because the idea in here is to actually blow up our keyboard. What happens is specifically in my case where a few keys only do not work, this can be caused due to dust getting into these keys because it's not common to just these keys not work and the other ones be working well so what you'll be doing in here is turning on your hair dryer and you want to make sure you keep the temperature to the minimum possible because you don't want to air blow your keyboards with a lot of heat okay so keep it to the minimum possible what we're going to be doing in here is we're going to keep our keyboard on 75 degrees okay so as you guys know this would be 90 degrees but we're gonna keep it on 75 it's gonna be something like this okay so not like this straight we're gonna keep it somehow like this so this is how it goes we're gonna keep it on 75 degrees as you guys can see right now and then we're gonna turn on our hair dryer or any other air blower that you've got and then we're gonna easily perform this movement like this from the bottom so we want to air blow everything to the right side like left to right left to right left to right left to right you're gonna be doing this for five minutes now i have the air blower turned off right now because this makes a lot of noise and if i turn this on my voice won't be audible here in the video so this is the movement to the right to the right to the right so you're gonna be doing this for five minutes and once you're done we're gonna move into the left side as well 
same thing is gonna happen we won't keep it in 90 we'll keep it on 75 degrees we're gonna perform the same movement to the right for five minutes with the air on in here and then we're gonna move to the right side and we're gonna perform the exact same thing not 90 degrees 75 degrees we're gonna be air blowing to the right like this okay so this is the movement that we need to perform for five minutes so in total we're gonna be air blowing our macbook for 15 minutes we've got five minutes here to the right five minutes here to the right and then five minutes here to the right now this is the last step that should help the problem that you've got in here now if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got you probably have a hardware issue and your keyboard might require replacement now temporarily you can actually use the virtual keyboard to keep on using your macbook until you actually take your macbook to apple service center so that they can actually repair your macbook but temporarily you can actually use the virtual keyboard which can be actually displayed by going here to the keyboard on the top right corner okay we've got in here the language of my keyboard which is british in my case i'm gonna tap once in it and then we've got in here an option which says show keyboard viewer so i'm gonna select that option and then my virtual keyboard is going to display immediately here on my desktop so this is my virtual keyboard and i can actually type in by using my mouse to select any keys that we've got in here as if this is my keyboard so this is the temporary solution that you've got and the other solution that you've got is by using an external keyboard which will be connected into your macbook by means of this little small bluetooth device right here so you just connect it here into the usb port and then your keyboard is going to work in here which is an external keyboard now if you also want me to recommend you a good and cheap keyboard just tap in the link in the description box below i've also linked down a cheap and affordable keyboard that you can use temporarily while you decide to fix your keyboard which is not working fine so this was it for today guys thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if you find my content useful here on the channel consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below as it helps me in getting recommended here on youtube so that i can help out more people facing the same problem as yours thanks for watching fixed by shack and i'll see you in the next one have a great day